Today we're racing a train versus a plane between Seattle and Portland to see which is cheaper, faster, and more comfortable. Now to make sure things are even, we're racing the exact same distance of 174 miles from City Hall to City Hall. I'm starting here in Seattle, and I'm starting in Portland. That's about it. I'm Mike, welcome to Downey Live. Let's get this race started. Ready? Ready. Go. I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's a beautiful day and I only have a three minute walk to the station. And there it is, just two blocks away. I am trying to really enjoy this walk because our train is gonna take three hours and 25 minutes compared to the one hour for the plane. Okay, I gotta get to Pioneer Square to catch a tram to get to the airport. I have three minutes to make it. Currently 5.30, my tram's at three minutes, 5.33. Hello, bears. 250. Already the plane is costing me money. We'll get to ticket prices shortly. Oh geez, I bought the right tram ticket, but I'm at the wrong station. Okay, now we're finally headed to Portland Airport. King Street Station here is the 15th busiest Amtrak station in the country, and it has three Amtrak trains that come here. So the three trains that come here are the Empire Builder, the Coast Starlight, and the Cascades, which is what we're taking today. I have one coach seat and the ticket cost me $65. The nice thing about the train is that the station is right downtown and you can walk straight on board. I think if we want a chance of seeing any water, we, gotta, we have to be on this side of the train. Well, here we go. And look at that, off we go. This is such an easy and comfortable check-in experience. If you were to drive the distance between the two cities, it would take three hours, but just this train segment will take three and a half hours, let alone any delays or getting to and from the city hall. On this for the next 40 minutes, it's gonna get us to the airport with barely enough time. Now, while train Mike starts making progress on his way out of Seattle, and airplane Mike has 40 minutes to ride the tram out to the airport, this is a good time to talk about sustainable snack bags. And now I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, True Earth. And no, I'm not gonna talk about their fantastic bamboo cutlery set, which is great for taking on the road with you if you need utensils to eat a snack. Because if you're snacking on finger food, like carrots, you might wanna use the True Earth reusable beeswax snack bags. They come in a four pack, two medium, two large bags, and they're plastic free, rewashable, and sustainable. Because these are reusable, they help to reduce the amount of single use plastics we use in the household. And they also have the reusable beeswax food wraps if you're at home. What impresses me most is that True Earth keeps coming up with creative products that allows you to live a more sustainable life. I fell in love with True Earth because of their laundry eco strips. These powerful detergent strips come in thin and compostable packaging, which truly make them an earth-friendly choice. If you want to try them for yourself, I have them linked in the description down below and you can use discount code DOWNY for 10% off. So thank you True Earth for making a great product and for sponsoring today's video. So while the train ride is two and a half hours longer than this flight, this 40 minute tram ride is already eating into our advantage of flying. All right, airport. Much bigger than the train station, not as nice. Now, the reason this race is going to be close is because airports are so far out of town and have much longer check-in, security, and boarding procedures than a train. Now, luckily for us, it's a beautiful countryside between Seattle and Portland, and we've got a stunning day. And these massive seats are, well, frankly, really comfortable. But I'm getting hungry, so what are our options for food? There's a cafe on board. Let's go get something to eat. What do you recommend? Mac and cheese? Okay, we'll, we'll try the mac and cheese. That sounds great. And uh, a coffee as well, please. Coffee and the mac and cheese was $9 even. Smells good. Not as good. While Train Mike is enjoying his lunch and making forward progress, Airplane Mike is still waiting to board and is looking for food too. All right, we have 45 minutes until our flight boards. Let's get coffee. Thank you. Holy, this is like a mall food court in here. Gotta admit, has more options than the train. <sighs> Got a breakfast wrap. We've been going for an hour and 47 minutes and our flight boards in 10 minutes. I don't know what he got on the train, but this is probably better than that. Our flight's about to board. They're a little overbooked, so they're asking people to volunteer to take another flight, but that can't be us. We're in a race. It's uh, just over two hours. The big, loud, busy airport is very different from the calm and quiet train. And as Airplane Mike just said, this flight is overbooked, which means it's going to be absolutely packed. And hopefully that doesn't slow us down while boarding. 
Flying by plane is always a lot of waiting. It's now been two hours and 26 minutes since we started. No luggage <laughs> space. Now the ticket for this packed can of sardines of a flight is $255. That's $190 more than the train ticket. We got delayed by the bridge. The bridge was open to let a boat through, a big boat through. So we're here for about 15 minutes. Still under four hours. We're close. Now what you get on a train that you don't in a plane are up close personal views of some of the most scenic parts of this country. Now here we're running along the Columbia River, which actually acts as the border between Oregon and Washington State. Now while up in the air, the views are also pretty good. I mean here we can see Mount St. Helens, Crater Lake, and Mount Hood. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments which you prefer, an airplane or a train window. All right. Let's get to City Hall. Airports are so busy these days. Just under four hours so far. Ground transportation, We're going the right way. So much walking. What a nice entrance into Portland, Oregon. Oh wow. The other nice thing about the train is you can get off as soon as it stops. None of this waiting for it to taxi. So here we are, Portland Union Station. We still have to get to City Hall. Now this is me genuinely trying to win in each version. I am unbiased when it comes to which is faster, train or plane, I don't care. But I'm giving it my all in both cases to make it as fair as possible. Should take us about 35 minutes to get downtown. I'm not gonna lie, I am worried this is gonna be tight. So this is a good time to remind you if you're new to the Downey Live channel, I'm Mike and well, I make these adventure videos every single Saturday, so subscribe, but we gotta go catch us. At this point, I almost don't care if the train is faster. I just enjoyed it more. Five stops, here we go. Seattle, almost there. Oh, let's keep going. Here it is. This is it. Oh, the top of the hill. Portland City Hall. Four hours, 41 minutes. City Hall in, oh my gosh, four hours, 59 minutes. Woo! Oh, the plane is slower than the train. I know that's not the case in every city, but in this very specific case, between Seattle and Portland, I think the train is the better option. I'm Michael, thank you for watching Downey Live. You can watch last week's video right there. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking on my face right here because I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. See you next week.